Hello guys, welcome to Shooting Star TV and today I want to share with you a little bit of um, information of um, some calls and questions we've uh, been getting uh, we get often from, from a lot of our customers, uh, new jumpers um, that are looking into getting uh, an altimeter either analog or digital and it's a good question um, because there's a lot of options out there in the market uh, and um, it, uh, it refers to altimeters, uh, skydiving altimeters, either digital or analog versus watches. Watches like the Suntos or Garmin um, or other brands that have, uh, there are multifunction watches that include an, uh, an altimeter. Uh, and that's really interesting because we've seen a lot of um, uh, a lot of jumpers um, using them. And uh, well, here's our take on it. And uh, what are the all of the options that uh, you can find uh, at ShootingStar.com? So, um, if you are either looking at something analog, we have a lot of options from the most basic, like the Galaxy uh, from Alti Two, which is your super rugged super durable um it will last forever if you take care of it uh analog altimeter glow face super easy to use easy to read it's right here on your hand if you use it with a hand mount so this um i would recommend this every single time i still use mine uh, i've had it for 24 years or more so and uh, i've never had any issues with it uh, so yeah, if you're looking for something super durable, Galaxy will be something uh, you want to go with. Um, and other analogs, they work in similar ways. Like this is the Aeronaut from uh, Parasport uh, Italia. And uh, it works pretty much the same way. Just different designs. So uh, analogs, they're all kind of constructed in the same way. Just different designs in between manufacturers. Now, digital, a lot of people are going with the digital uh, altimeters. Um, it's personal preference at the end. If you like uh, you know, a good readable dial analog, you don't need to change batteries or anything. I would recommend going with something analog. Digital, you have different options, uh, like from the, um, the Altix or A-Lots -A from uh, Parasport Italia, uh, which are really uh, convenient, easy to use. And then you have your, you know, your most common and most popular ones like the Viso from uh, Larson Bruscard, the Aris 2 from Larson Bruscard. You have the, Al um, the Alti 2 Atlas from uh, Alti 2, which is a really good altimeter as well. You, and you can either use it on uh, your wrist or as an audible altimeter inside your helmet. Uh, so it is, it is uh, really versatile in that way. And you can find more information regarding all these altimeters on our site, shootingstar.com. Once you, uh, when you scroll down to the description of the product, you will see all the features in there. Uh, but nowadays, you have uh, multi-function uh, or smart Altis, like they call them, like the Dekunu or the um, X2. Um, so these give you a lot of information, which is good, which is really helpful. Um, but then basically what you want to know at the end is your altitude. That's your main awareness and that's what you need to know. Um, altimeters versus watches with altimeter function. Um, although they uh, altimeter, altimeter watches like the Suntos or Garmin's, uh, they display an accurate reading it's uh, sometimes and most of the time it's off by about 200 to 300 feet. Uh, I've tested my Suntu against uh, Viso and my Altitude Atlas and I always have compared to the Suntu, the Suntu is always reading around 200 to 50, 300 feet of difference up or down. So I personally would not recommend it. As an instructor, I would not recommend uh, using uh, just a watch with the altimeter function as your main visual altimeter. I recommend having it as a backup. That's why I use it uh, how I use it for. If anything goes, you know, if I lose batteries on this or anything, I always have some kind of reference 
of uh, what's my altitude at any given point. Uh, but I will not use it as a, a main source of, um, of, um, of information for my altitude. Um, like I said, they give a, a precise reading, but the pressure sensors on skydiving altimeters, mostly the digital ones, um, are made just for skydiving. So the, the speed which uh, the pressure sensors process um, information is faster than the ones on watches. Uh, don't get me wrong, Suntos or Garmin's are really good um, uh, outdoors, uh, outdoors watches uh, with a lot of functions, really helpful uh, functions, but for specifically skydiving, I would not recommend using them. Uh, just because you have a difference in altitude and that could be, you know, for a new jumper um, or just, you know, if you're just relying on that, that could cause low, low pulls, um, even uh, two canopies out, cypress fires, or there's a lot of uh, things that could go wrong just by misreading your altitude, just because the instrument you're using is not calibrated in a way that it will be uh, accurate enough like a uh, skydiving altimeter. So that is um, uh, some recommendations. Um, you can uh, check out all the different altimeters that we offer and carry on our website, shootingstar.com. And then, uh, you know, if you have any, any questions regarding each uh, or every one, just shoot us an email to gear at shootingstar.com or give us a call and uh, we'll walk you through it and give you all the information you need. All right, guys, stay safe and wash your hands.